I am the worst football manager ever and welcome to the first ever episode of the Gospel Gamble. That's right, you heard it correctly. Unfortunately, as you know, I was sacked from Gloucester, but now I've now got a job at Gosborough Borough. I've moved down south. I'm no longer in the Vanarama Conference North. I've moved down south to the Vanarama Conference South and I'm living on the coast, enjoying the sea life, enjoying the beach, enjoying the coastline. And uh, for me and Gospel, I'm about to play my first ever match. I've literally been in charge for just about a week or so. Um, getting to get grips, beginning to understand who the team are, what sort of the players I've got, what they're like, how things are going, and all this kind of thing. And I'm just so glad you're here to join me on the journey. And um, Firstly, just to say, anyone who has joined me for the From the Gloucester Gamble save, I really want to thank you for joining me on the way for that one, particularly those of you who are Gloucester City fans. Um, I had a few messages on Twitter um, from... Um, a couple of fans saying that there were some Gloucester fans who were watching my Gloucester Gamble videos. Um, luckily, Gloucester are doing better in real life than they were in uh, my save here. Um, but anyway, I was invited to go along to some home games for Gloucester, so I might still try and do that at some point this season. I did. I Google mapped it. Um, you know when you that was right isn't it google map it google mapped it yeah google mapped it and it took takes me about an hour and a half to get there so it's not so bad um so i might um come along one saturday who knows who knows but i'll let you know but if you are a gloucester fan and you're sticking with me i really appreciate that and if you're new to this save then welcome to part one to episode one of the gosport gamble i'm so excited and I hope you are too, um, to see what we can do with Gosport. Now, obviously, my track record is not that good. There's a reason I'm called the worst football manager ever. But for some reason, maybe it's because I'm ever the optimist, but I feel like I can do something here. Let me show you where Gosport are in the league, uh, and then we'll look into the squad, and then we'll play first game um, under their management. They are currently in 12th position, which for me seems all right. I'm sort of thinking, oh, you know, that's not so bad. They're doing okay there. But when you look at where they um, are sort of due to be, um, they are predicted to be um, eighth, eighth place. Um, so with, they're sort of falling a little bit short of, of really where they should be at the moment. And so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to see what I can do to just beef them up the league a little bit, beef them up. I said boof them up in another video, and I just said beef them up. Um, I want to just get them up the league a little bit more to around eight, which actually is, is not that far off. He's only four points off that. Um, so you never know, you know, we'll see how we go. Um, schedule in terms of how they've been doing recently before I've taken over is a real mixed bag. You can see here the last kind of seven games or so, they've won three, drawn one, and lost three. Really varied. Um, in fact, their last game was against Bath City, who, if you remember back to the beta Bath City save, is who I was looking after then. Um, and just looking at their squad, they've Bath have made some real changes here. There to David Pratt is still their main guy, and he scored two goals for them to, to of their three goals. Tommy Fletcher, who wasn't on my squad when I was looking after Bath there um, had a good game as well and Dan Ball there 8.6 so they've recently just lost 3-0 which isn't the best time for me to take over but that's part of it isn't it that's part of it when you take over a new side you've just got to do what you can so anyway so I'll then add a little look at the squad as well um, I'll get onto the staff as well in a minute and the squad here doesn't look bad I think the first thing I noticed really is their kind of lack of fitness um, which actually adds into the fact that if you look here the the um, the reaction from Elliot Wheeler here. Um, he says here negatives, he's unhappy with the lack of a fitness coach. Um, so I noticed that, um, and we'll get onto the staff team later, but it is very evident that they haven't had much fitness coaching at all this year. And so you can see here, we're just about to go into a game. Um, obviously their game, their last game was only sort of three, four days ago, but still, they're like some of them were in 70s, like this player here from Arsenal, who's on load, De Gracia, he's, he's on 72, Andy Robinson, 73%, Elliot Wheeler here, 76%. So their, their, their fitness isn't that great. So I'm going to have to work on that a little a bit um, however morale is reasonably high fairly good very good to good okay which probably is because they've got a new manager in and you know maybe they're maybe they're excited maybe they've, they've, they've been like oh yes yes he's managing us worst football manager is managing us that's so good to hear why they'd be like that I don't know but 
you know, you never know, eh? You never know. So give me a bit of credit. Do you know what I mean? Uh, give me a bit of credit there. But anyway, so um, I'll run through who I've picked for my starting 11 for this first one. However, one of the things I have noticed about my squad is um, you see here this top 11 uh, who I've chosen for my starting 11. But outside of that, as we look at the rest of the senior squad there, there's George Barker who could play attacking midfielder right or left. Um, this uh, Eagle Kajar who is... Um, injured at the moment lone player for me and apart from that all the other players are centre players so I haven't got any real wit to my squad at the moment apart from literally the ones who are in my starting 11 so I'm gonna need some backup players for that you, you can see here like Carl Spence and, and Carter and um, Joe and um, Anyansar Anyansar An Anyansar Joe Anyansar Joe Anyansar, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Joe Anyansar, he's got a bit of width to him. Um, and some of my defenders can play width as well. I've got two wing-backs here. I've got a wing-back right and a wing-back left, which is quite helpful, actually. But apart from that, it's almost like we've got one option for each position, which isn't too good. So what I'm going to be doing is looking at some wide players. Now, if I click on the ability bit here at the top and arrange my squad by their ability, you can see roughly here who are my high quality players. You've got George Barker, you've got Jamie White, Ben Harding here. Um, see their value isn't too bad. Like George Barker particularly is worth 26.5k, which is not bad at all. The fact that I own him and he's... I own you, mate. Absolutely own you. Um, but yeah, the fact he plays for me and he actually plays for the club and he is owned by the club. 24 years old. Um, striker. Um, it was weird, really, because you look at his his attributes, 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 and um, actually, you can, they don't particularly look very high to me. So I'm not quite sure why he's one earning that much. He's earning three hundred and fifty pound a week, and he's valued that much. I'm not quite sure why. You then look at his um, appearances. And he's had 31 appearances for us. He's a regular starter. If he scored five, assists five, 6.84 rating, which isn't bad, but you think he'd be a absolutely epic player at that sort of value that sort of earning and that sort of star rating you know for this league so anyway and, and as you can see here he is actually on the subs bench for me now um, reason being is the following um, as we go further down we've also got Jamie White who's the second best according to ability in my squad 32 games he scored 11 goals George Barker has scored nine goals for us this season but as we go further down you get this to this fella here Justin Bennett striker here um, he's only three star rating but as you look here his average rating is 7.18 he's played 25 games so he's played a lot of games this season and he scored 15 goals he is actually my leading scorer this season now he's not only worth 1.4k and actually look at him he's 33 years old so he's quite a bit older but look at his stats here. his finishing is 15 which is pretty good first touch is 10 penalty he's good at penalties got good technique composure concentration anticipation his mental ability is really good and and ultimately he's a goal scorer so i'm like actually this fella here he's actually going to start for me ahead of george barco just because simply because of goals look at his career stats um and you can see here hasn't played particularly high league football um he's played for eastleigh and over but look he's been playing for gospel for a good sort of nearly 10 years now um and so with that in mind he is a legend he's basically a gospel legend justin bennett so i'm keeping him in the squad i'm gonna see uh he's even gonna start this first game i wonder whether he might be a little bit a little bit slow what I didn't actually, what are his um physical stats like yes he's excellent he's a slow player balance pace he's very slow so, <laughs> so basically he's not going to be the, the nippiest player on the pitch but give him the ball and he'll probably score so that's my thinking that is my thinking with him we'll see how that goes it could all fall on its face but anyway right let's let, let me show you quickly the staff before we get into the game today um as you can see here, here are my staff team. I've got four coaches. Now, I've already made a change that hasn't come through yet. But we've got, um, I'm the manager. We've got Mick Catlin, our assistant manager. Tony Stairs, who is a good coach, I think. Look at, these stats are pretty good for a coach of this league. Um, attacking, defending, goalkeepers, man, man management, working with youngsters, all quite high. Determination, adaptability, all pretty high, which is great. Now, this guy here, Mark Brown, is our goalkeeping coach. But look at this, right? His, his stats for goalkeeping is 12, but all the rest of his coaching ability is like 1s. 
I'm like, that is not good enough. So I've already I've clicked on terminate his contract, and I'm getting in a new um, a new coach, um, particularly one who can train in fitness. Because if you look at Tony Stairs, his fitness training is only one. So his fitness tra- his coaching isn't that great at fitness. Mick Catlin's fitness coaching one. Um, uh, this guy, the other guy, Mark Brown here, obviously he was one as well. And so for me, uh, my sort of um, my my ability as a coach here for fitness is seven. So it's a little bit higher, but to be honest, not that much higher still either. So I've um, put in a bid for a new coach to come in who'll probably do um, a bunch of goalkeeping coaching, but also some fitness coaching as well. I think the Tony Saws will. Is it Tony Saws? Tony whatever his face is, Tony Stairs, sorry, he'll take on the goalkeeping coaching because actually his goalkeeping coaching is 13, which is better than the other guy anyway. Um, And then this um, new coach will really focus in and lean into fitness and strength and stamina and stuff like that, whereas I'll probably take on some more of the general coaching tactics and things like that. So that is my thinking. What do you reckon? Is that a good idea or not? Um, I like to think it sounds like a good idea because... I don't know why, just because it sounds like I've thought about it. And you think, if I've thought about it, then surely I should do well because I've thought about it. Um, but we'll see how we go. So the first game that I've got in charge is against Ebbs Fleet, who are high in the league. They are one of the favourites to get promoted. They are in third place at the moment, um, only five points away from the top again, from Sutton, who are the top of the league. Ebbs Fleet are a good side. I remember playing them against Bath, and they have got a good side. They've got good players here. Um, you see here that Danny Cadwell is their striker who's got 17 goals this season, season. Andy Cunningham is injured which is quite helpful thanks very much but look how much money they've got as well the, the amount of money that their players um, are you know, are earning is pretty high so they're, they're a good side they've got some good money behind them it looks like they're going to play a 4-4-4 um, I'll show you my tactic here um, which is a 4-4-4 as you probably heard from my last episode of the Gloucester Gamble one of the things I think I'm learning about lower league management is to keep it simple. Keep it simple. So I'm going for a straight 4-4-2. Um, you can see here the team. I don't really know the players yet either, so it's all quite new to me. We've got two full backs, left and right back. Kelly Yuga and Elliot Wheeler, right and left back. Um, Sam Pierce, who is my captain, um, who isn't my best defender, but the other defenders are really tired, so I've brought him in um, in centre-back. And we've got Reese, um Greenidge um, there as well. Uh, and then in midfield, we've got Joe Anyan, Anyan Saar, um, winger as well as Kyle Spence on the wing as well. We've got Mike Carter, Ben Harding, two, two midfielders there and um, advanced forward Jamie White and um, D- Justin Bennett. I think I might change him from a defensive forward. Um, yes, I think he, I'm going to make him an advanced forward and change Jamie White to be um, to be a defensive forward. Uh, yeah, I think he'll be a support. So we'll, we'll have Bennett up front, who's just going to hopefully just get the ball and score. That's what I want him to do. That's all I need him to do. As I said, my, my, my bench looks a little bit weak at the moment, where pretty much all I've got are central players. But I'm going to have to sort that out at some point. Um, we'll see how we get on there. OK, and we've got Nathan Ashmore in goal. So let's see how we do. Um, oh, before we get to the match, let me just show you the instructions. I'm going standard mentality. Instructions really basic, keeping it basic to in simple instructions. I'm going slightly more direct passing and also I'm going fairly wide. Um, I just prefer teams that play it wide. And so they're going to have to try and, even though we've got this sort of very narrow, <laughs> narrow squad at the moment, I want to train them to be going wide. So we'll see how we do. I might need to step back into counter. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I just don't know. But here we go. The Gosport Gamble starts here. It starts today, everyone. I know you've been waiting for it. I know you're excited. Probably not as excited as I am. But you can be excited if you want. Feel free to join the excitement wagon with me. Um, As always, do leave me some um, thoughts that you've got. It says here, my key man is Mike Carter. Um in midfield so we'll see how he does there here is my uh, David Haynes here is replacing the other guy he's only scored three goals this season that's good um, he's replacing their uh, injured striker so that's okay um, right okay let's mark up their centre centre forwards um, close them down we'll leave that as it is um, yeah as always do leave me thoughts any thoughts that you've got early on in this to uh 
Oh, what should we say? What should we say? Uh, encourage the team. There we go. Right. Oh, good. They're up for it. They are up for it. They are keynotes. Keynotes. This is what we want. So, yeah, if you've got any thoughts as to how I can, um, what I should do early on in managing this squad, I want to do much better than I did against with Gloucester. So, any thoughts you've got or how, what I can do with this sort of a squad? Should I just go narrow anyway because my team are narrow playing? Um, or should I get in some wing wide players? We'll see how we go. Anyway, first attack. Uh, first highlight seems to be mine and here's Justin Bennett here on the ball passes it out to Spence the crowd seem up for this the uh, it's a big big crowd to see me in in place so you can see Carter through ball to Spence straight through to Justin Bennett and he's this called oh he's good it's three minutes in three minutes in Justin Bennett yes boy come on this is a great start what a start Oh, here. Thank you, boys. This is what I want to see. The crowd appreciating the new manager. This is all me. This is all me. There's Spence there with the pass across. And Justin Bennett, as I said, just give him the ball and he'll score from it. 15, it's 15 rated finishing. So that is why I brought him on, is to score goals. So I'm pleased with that. I'm very pleased with that. It's, it's fascinating, isn't it? Because I think my, my temptation normally is to just go with whoever the most value, the highest value players are, stick them on the pitch. But as you can see here, that wasn't necessarily the best idea. Oh, meanwhile, Ebfleet on the attack. That was a nice ball from them, chipping it over the defence. But Kedwell is on it again. Haynes. Oh, great challenge there from the defence. Wheeler got in the way there, I think it was. And here's Raymond, still on the attack here, absolutely. Great challenge. And here's Joe Anion start to uh, dribble it clear for us. Good shout. Well done, boys. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we get tempted to just think, we think, you know, high value means good quality, but it doesn't necessarily always mean that. And the thing is, at this level, the players aren't that fast. So speed, if you have got players with speed, it's amazing. But it doesn't necessarily mean for anything. Like Obviously, Justin Bennett... He's, he's so slow, but it doesn't necessarily matter at this league. His, here he is on the ball now, Justin Bennett. Carter, cross to Harding, Ben Harding, back to Greenwich. Chip, oh, he went for the chip over the defence there. Didn't quite get it, and instead Kedwell sprays it out wide to Gambin. Dribbling it in here, can he get past our number two? He has, Is Lewis, great ball across to Wilmer. No, challenge him. Oh, no, equalised. Danny Haynes. He's only scored... Oh, that was his fifth goal of the season. He scored barely, hardly any goals this season. How did he score? Oh, boys. That is annoying. Right. Here's Haynes. There he is to tuck it away. Left foot. Nobody challenged him. We should be challenging them much more than that. Okay, so team talk. Let's just give him a bit of encouragement here. Come on. Come on, boys. Okay, here's Wilmot. Pumps it up. Well done, Ben Harding. Challenge it. Parks gets onto the back of it. Here's Haynes, the goal scorer. Few, through to Kedwell. Challenge there by Pierce. Great challenge by Harding. Carter, White, across to Bennett. What can Bennett do here? He's on the ball. He's got good technique, this fella. Oh, he's giving it away. He's giving it away. Oh, well. Here's Kedwell on the ball this time. Wilmot, they're on the attack again. They are looking dangerous when they come forward. What's going on here? Oh! And Haynes! That's his second of the game. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? We need to close down much more. I wonder whether... Uh, well... No, are, we, are they too far forward? No, maybe they're not. Oh dear, okay. I can't... I don't know how... Uh, Let's just pause it for a sec. How far we're normal? Let's just slightly deeper. We're going to drop this defence slightly deeper a bit. Then he can... Actually, I should, I'll tell you what I need to do in that case. If we're dropping deeper, I need to not have him cutting and closing down as much. Close down sometimes. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Joe Anion side has been played out of position at the moment. So they are 2 1 ups, 22 minutes gone. Kedwell Gambin here. Cross Greenidge, good challenge there. Gre don't let don't let him get a third. Kedwell. My goodness me. 
No, we are going to... We are going to close down much more. This is not good. Come on. What's happened here? Is this Haynes? Was it Haynes again? It, well, I don't think it was. I think it was Kedwell, yeah. It was Kedwell. Oh, dearie me. We are 3-1 down. I thought we had such a great start, but in, but not. We've uh, we've got all the pos we've got more possession than them though. We have had I've, I've had more shots, but they just haven't been on target. This isn't great. This is not good. Come on. Um, tighten up. No, I think we need to encourage encourage them. This is not good here. Come on, boys. 33 minutes gone. OK, you do see here there's fitness levels low. Ben Harding on a 60%, which isn't a good start. So frustrating when they haven't got the sort of the... Uh, let's keep the ball... Let's keep the ball a bit more. Run at a defence. Here's Kedwell. Haynes, they're on the attack again here. Yeah, they're just pushing us. They're just pushing us a lot here. I'm wondering whether actually we we were sat back at the beginning of this attack quite a lot. Here's Kedwell, and that's 4-1. My, my. Right, OK. We are going to actually slightly push up a bit. More direct passing. We are still going to go back to more direct passing here. Oh dear, for <laughs> Oh no, there was me full of like positivity and hope for this and we've like we're losing four one in our first game. Oh well I suppose you I wouldn't you know, you when you take over a team mid mid season you've got to expect some stuff like this, haven't you? Um This is so bad though, isn't it? Yeah, he's exhausted but he wants to come off but he's not gonna. No, we've had more possession than them. Right, but we're not doing anything with it, so instead we're gonna control. Um, and we're going to go structured here. Um, this is not good. Come on. You were awful out there. <laughs> or starting as I mean to go on. I'm just telling them how it is. Letting, now they're looking fired up. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's get out there. At least get a couple of goals back. I don't want a humiliating loss right at the beginning of this. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That would not be a good start for the board. Here's Wheeler, here's Harding. Oh, that's the end of that. I, I was hoping it would be a from from kickoff highlight, but no. Ben Harding is looking very tired. Let's take him off, I think. Um, centre midfielder, Andy Robinson. Let's bring on him. It may be that Car Jamie White will need to come off if um, if he doesn't do much else, because he's they're on low. See, our defence on a low... You know, they're, they're not doing well. My, my defence in, in Gloucester were rubbish as well. I just want a team that have got a decent defence that don't let in so many goals. That's all I want. That's all I ask for, eh? All I ask for is that. 51 minutes. Uh, see, they are playing pretty poorly, aren't they? Let's um, let's take off some of these. We've got this flare in here. Christopher de Gracha. De Gracha. Um, he's going to come on for um, Reese Greenidge. Um this guy is actually um, on loan from Arsenal. I'm like, how on earth have Gosport got a loan from Arsenal? But they have, and here he is. And so on comes the Arsenal player. Um, I think he's pretty young from what I remember. Let's have a little look. 18 years old, 3.4k from Sweden. Um, come on, Swede. Swedey, Swedey. That's what I want you to do. Just, just keep it tight. Don't let in any more. How are we doing? So 52%. We've still got all the possession. We just And we've had shots, but none of them have been on target. Let's take off Jamie White. Let's take off Jamie White. We're going to put George Barker on. Um, give George Barker a bit of a... Come on, mate. Get out there and make a difference. Let's see if he can do anything. Just seems deep in thought, but... You can still do something. Come on, George. Georgie. I mean, meanwhile, some players are looking tired with half an hour to go still. <laughs> um... So it's not looking too great for us. 4-1. Um, Come on. 4-1. Oh, so embarrassing. Gambin. Here's Lewis. Forward to Kedwell. This is it. Well done, Robinson. But, well, actually, somebody else challenged him, but um, Robinson got off it. Here's Barker. Through to Bennett. What can Bennett do? Sprays out wide to Spence. Can Spence keep it on the pitch? He does. There's the cross. B Bennett! 
Oh! Oh, he had all the time in the world then. Got a shot away, but he was saved. Just our second shot of the um, on target of the game. Here's Robinson with the corner. Oh. Doesn't do anything with it. Here's... Um, Oh, it's a shame that. One of the things I'm going to be doing, I'm going to write it down right now, is set pieces. I'm literally going to write set pieces down. And I've, I've spelt pieces wrong. P-I-E-C-E-S. Pieces. Set pieces. I need to work on them. I didn't do that with Gloucester, and I just found I was never getting anything decent from corners or free kicks or anything. Um, and in fact, I was letting in lots of goals from them. So I've decided to um, spend a bit of time in training on it. Meanwhile, 69 minutes. Here's Haynes. Intercepted by Gratcher, but hands. Oh my word! Oh. Five, five, one, five, one. Do you know what I mean? Do you, what? What the? What is this? Surely, surely, surely. I don't understand. I don't understand this. 5-1, first game in charge. This is not this is not good. Can't believe it. Ebb's fleet. We were 1 0 up. We were 1 0 up after that as well. Here we are. Look, we've got had 10 shots on target. Still we've had more possession than them. We've only had two shots on target. They've had eight and five of them have gone in. This is so, so bad. Right, aggressive. Show some passion. This is this is absolutely ter terrible. Now I'm going to tell them exactly what I think of them. Right, I don't care if this is my first game in charge. I don't care if I don't know them. I'm I am laying into them thick after this. Eight, eighty third, eighty fourth minute. There's me thinking, oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be easy. Mid table. Oh yeah, you wait. Five games in, I'm going to be bottom of the table. I, I can almost, I can smell relegation already. Imagine if I got sacked after the first game. They wouldn't do that, though, would they? <gasps> Meanwhile, Justin Bennett is Barker. Yes! It's got on back. Barker's come on. 86th minute. It's his 10th goal of the season. Well done. Come on, boys. There's another one. The second goal. It's, it's about... I think it was about time we had a win. About a goal, not a win. A goal. It's George Barker. He slots it away. Maybe that is my duo. Maybe it is Bennett and Barker. Bennett and Barker. The two Bs. Right, so team talk, come on. Push forward. Let's just push it forward, boys. Come on. 89th minute. We get, we obviously lost this game. Where's the ball? I didn't even see where the ball was then at the beginning of that. But Mars has got hold of it. it. Looks like this will be the last kick of the game. That's the end. 5-2. What do I make of this? What do you make with this? Aggressive. I'm not happy with the result. They look motivated. They look fired up. Well, I can't ask for more than that, I suppose, if the, after that team talk. Justin Bennett, George Barker. And there's a cut. There's me completely underestimating Haynes. Be like, he's, he's going to be rubbish. He's going to be really bad. And uh, he's got a hat-trick. So, brilliant. I'm glad I, I'm glad I ignored him. Oh, well, that's not a good start for us, eh? Not a good start at all, but never mind. Um, that will do. It's been an extra long video because it's been the first one. Don't worry, they won't all be this long, but that is probably me done for today. Um, this is the beginning of the Gosport gamble. The Gloucester gamble didn't pay off, but this gamble, I just got a feeling about it. It's a bad start, but there's a long way to go. There's a lot of season left. We're only in March. There's a couple of months to go yet, and then maybe next season we'll push on. But anyway, that is it for now. You do uh, If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the content, then do hit the like button. Do uh, subscribe. Um, really appreciating all your comments, um, whether here on YouTube or on Twitter, because I'm on Twitter as well, at WorstFManager. Maybe I'll catch you on Twitch as well, at WorstFootballManager ever on Twitch as well but for now um, until next time I better get looking at this side and doing something with it because another 5-2 loss and I'm going to be out straight away so that's it for now I'll see you later